angry guy here and heterosexual men are losing their attraction to women. Guys, if you're enjoying this content, please help get this channel to 100,000 subscribers by, subs by subscribing to the channel if you already haven't, liking the video, and turning on notifications to never miss another video ever again. Now let's begin. Heterosexual men are losing their attraction to women. Guys, this is something I wanted to talk about for a little while. I've been getting emails from different guys who basically tell me that they're young, they're fit, they're handsome. They have lots of money in the bank, and they are no longer attracted to Western women. A lot of these young men, both black, both both black and white, but I, although I will say I'm getting an uptick from, from white guys right now, are telling me that they have no attraction to women in Western society anymore. I have a lot of white guys saying that they have no attraction to Caucasian women in Western society, or even outside of Western society at that, which is actually pretty shocking. So not only are they not attracted to Caucasian women in America, they're not attracted to Caucasian women outside of America as well. They're not attracted to Caucasian women in Eastern Europe, for example. And this is a serious issue. I've talked about this. And if you look at What's happening with the mouse utopia, you know, experiment. We've talked about the mouse utopia experiment. It was an experiment conducted by John Calhoun. I believe it was in the 1960s. He took a bunch of mice. He put them in, a, in this uh, isolated space. And the only thing that they lacked was space. And eventually the society broke down and you had a group of mice emerge called the beautiful ones who refused to engage with women, with female mice or do anything in society. They just basically ate, slept, groomed themselves, and lived their best lives. And eventually, you know, they, the entire utopia went extinct as everyone stopped re reproducing, including Chad and Tyrone, which is a very interesting outcome. And we're beginning to see this play out where more and more men are becoming asexual. More and more heterosexual men are losing complete attraction to women, in some cases, it's, it's a specific group of women, often women of their own ethnicity. In other cases, it's all women in general. We have a lot of men that are becoming herbivore men in the United States and Western society, or quasi-herbivore men where, they're, where they are no longer attracted to women of their own ethnicity. You're seeing that with a lot of black guys who have completely sworn off relationships with African-American women. And a lot of women don't understand how dangerous this is ab this absolutely is. There was someone who left a comment, and Mayumi absolutely flipped out over this. They left a comment and they said that the they said that the Japanese woman is superior to the American woman, but the Filipina is still superior to the Japanese woman. And Mayumi absolutely flipped out and she said something like she resented it. And for the, those of you that are just, you know, watching for the first time, Mayumi is our, uh, she is our, she is a pediatrician that comments very often and uh, resident troll on the channel. <laughs> and she was literally resentful of that comment. But this is kind of what people don't take into consideration. Women don't take into consideration. A lot of men are not necessarily good people. A lot, of, And I shouldn't say good people, but they're not going to be these deep thinkers. Men are very logical, but men are also very simple. And the human brain will operate like this, this good, this bad. It's called pattern recognition. And, you know, Mr. Tate talked about this. You know, he's, he, he pointed this out that when you look in the United States and there are some people who associate African-Americans with violence and 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 danger in society, you have to understand that a lot of this is pattern recognition. And how do you know this? Because a lot of black people 
associate other they associate Afri the Af African American community with violence. And this is not this is not to say that African Americans are violent people. The passport bros are going to other countries and living their best lives and thriving. And they are not viewed this way overseas. The reason why this has happened is because of Tyrone and Keisha and Little Poncho and how they've destroyed the black community. And as a result, these men are walking away from Western society and they're starting new lives. But you have to understand that the damage has been done. And a lot of men cannot and will not ever have relationships again. They, you know, they will not have relationships with 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 women, regardless of their ethnicity or anything. They're literally like, we're done. We don't want to have any problems. We don't want the stress. And they no longer have physical attraction to women because this you have to understand that attraction is a biochemical response that pushes us towards survival because at our very core it's survival and replication we survive so we can replicate and we replicate rep replicate so we can survive but at our very core it's always survival replication only occurs because of survival keep that in mind if we could survive without replicating we would people don't comprehend this you know we've practiced this for a long time this is what has been ingrained in us but for the average man, if the average man can survive and society can survive without the average man replicating, then men will avoid replication. Take this into consideration also that roughly only around 30% of men have re reproduced throughout history, while roughly 80 to 87%, so roughly 80 to 90% of all women who have ever lived have reproduced. This is, it's, it's crazy statistics. So you have to understand, 70% of men throughout history have not reproduced, 70%. And people can argue that, oh, because that, that's because they weren't qualified to reproduce. No, absolutely not. You have to take into consideration, a lot of men throughout history chose deliberately not to reproduce because most men were poor historically. Most men were poor. This notion of men walking away, I don't even like to say going their own way, but this is really what it is. Men choosing not to have relationships at all, not to reproduce. Guys, this, this, this thing, being a monk, what they call monking, it is something historic. It is historic. Men have been doing this since the dawn of time, choosing not to have children not wanting the stress, not wanting the burden. They'll find other ways to contribute, but they don't want to reproduce. And women are crazy in the sense that they don't comprehend that by tearing down their men, by disrespecting their men, they are leading to men seeing reproduction, engagement as a bad thing, and their brains are changing and creating a different biochemical response that is telling them that your survival is better off if you do not reproduce. So we're going to shift it up, and we're going to tell you not to reproduce. And this is what's happening on a large scale. It, it, it's pretty significant. It really, really is. And women don't care. Modern women don't care. Women overseas, of course, foreign women, they are well aware of what happens what, when the men leave because it's happened to a lot of women in other countries. A lot of these countries have been taken over countless times. And the women have heard stories or they've experienced it for themselves in the modern day era where something happens in the country and the men flee. And the country is taken over by a group of other men who completely change the culture and take control of the women. If you don't have a country without its men, it's not a country. It's a wasteland. It will be invaded and it will be taken by another country. And the men of that country will abandon their wives. They will abandon the children. They will flee the country and they will leave everything behind. 
This is why it is imperative that women do everything they possibly can to encourage their men and to make sure that their men want to support them and be there for them. Modern women, they believe that everything they need can come from the government. They've elected the government as their sugar daddy. They've said that, okay, the government is our savior. The government can give us everything we want and need. They don't comprehend just what the government actually is. The government is not your friend. If you look at what's happening in China right now, something very significant has happened with the CCP. For many years, there was a one-child policy. Then China changed the policy and said, okay, couples can now have more than one child because China's population is beginning to dwindle down and a country without its people is nothing. And what's happening? People are still refusing to have children. And now the, chi the C same CCP that put the one-child policy into place is, say is saying to women that it is their patriotic duty to have children. And a lot of these countries are now pushing for single motherhood, even though single motherhood, we know what the effects of single motherhood is on society. And we know the hardships that will be that will occur as a result of single motherhood. But these countries are now becoming so desperate that they are trying to push single motherhood. And, you know, without, you know, it doesn't matter how much they try. They're offering like, oh, we'll give you $500. We'll give you $1,000 a month. And then, you know, and then, guys, I told you we're heading towards a universal basic income. But the money that the come that these women are going to get, it won't be enough to survive and thrive on. It's basically just going to trap them in a cycle of poverty where they'll base where they'll be living on handouts from the government for the rest of their lives. And it's going to be hard living. They won't be able to afford luxury. They won't be able to afford, you know, really anything. Sure, they'll get access to food, although food prices are skyrocketing. They won't be able to live, you know, carefree lives. But yeah, I mean, you know, you can live just above, just above or right below the poverty line if that's what you like, but you're not going to be living these wonderful lives. And it's, it's true. It really is. It's like women don't know what they've truly lost. It's, it's insanity. And they don't realize that men are losing attraction to women. Guys, what do you think regarding this? I want to hear your thoughts, so let's talk about it in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away, and cheers.